Alright, so it is our last night in Kenya, and we were at this really, really beautiful hotel with the most amazing view I've ever seen, and I was just lucky enough to get really sick tonight, so I've been laying in this bed for about five hours now, and I'm starting to feel a bit better, but still my head is sore and my stomach hurts and it has definitely not been the best night. <laughs> okay, we managed to get Lee in the car. How are she's you? Alive, she's alive, she's alive. She's alive, not feeling great, but she's alive. We've got Chris out there by the sign shooting the exit as we walk through, as we fly through. And you can even see the, the sign that we taking a picture of back there. I hope that you can see it. Okay, we're currently on our way to Aiten's famous running track where professional world champion athletes um, run. And you may be surprised by the view out of our window. It's, as Tad was just saying, it's a pretty unlikely little road to find this incredible track on this world training, world class training area. Hey, we're finally here at the Aiten track and the runners have just arrived. You can see their cars are decorated with trees because uh, that denotes that there's a special occasion here. The runners are here getting ready. They're super excited. And uh, here's the track. They're just checking out the track for the first time. For them, this is a huge day. They've been looking forward to this and would have never had the opportunity to come to this track before, so it's really cool. This is one of the coaches right here. Okay, a couple of fun things that are happening right now. One, uh, the coach is teaching uh, Rachel Lee proper arm swing. And the coach there has challenged Rachel to a race. So we'll see. What happens? The runners are over here changing and getting ready for their time trials. Okay, they've started their warm up. You can see Rachel and Lee at the back there. Even though Lee's not feeling well, she's champing it up. But hopefully, she'll only do one lap. The other guys are going to be running this for 20 minutes as their warm up. I am not a big fan of running with the back. How do you back? Okay, the girls are actually going to race the coach here. Let's see who wins. Let's see who wins. Whoa, Lee Jansen's sick to her stomach. She's rocking it. Lee Jansen rocks it out. Holy smoke, she's gonna win. She's gonna win. She won. Yes. Okay, it's a world cast track and running field, and look what we have here in the middle. Just some animals that decided to come along and graze. It's amazing. The girls have started their time trials. They have four laps to go. It's been about four and a half minutes so far. Pretty impressive. This one's in first right now. Um, but they are booting it along. It's a pretty intense race for these guys. This is the last runner finishing across. I think the one who finished the first set was did in 8 minutes and 30 seconds. Pretty impressive. They're resting. They're resting over there. We've got uh, Elliot Kachogi, who's come to talk to the kids. He was the winner of uh, Chicago Marathon this October in just over two hours, four minutes. This is an incredible opportunity for these guys. He's right there. Okay, we're heading out, and I got this nice little wrap and present and the tea that I love so much. And the girls are walking out, the final scene of the curriculum. Off the track. <laughs> All right, we're driving to the airport in El Duret. Sorry, I couldn't show you who was the winner of that race because my camera totally died, which I think is the only piece of broken equipment on this uh, trip so yeah, far. Yep, that oh, and the headphones. That and the headphones. Four hours in, four hours left to go, and just a couple of things broke. So that was pretty great considering the amount of equipment that we brought. We brought a lot of stuff, right? Yeah, not bad. Not too shabby. So now we're on the way to the airport. Um, we just saw an incredible um, speaker who was, tell me his name, Tad. Elliot Kipchoge. Okay, this guy has run more than 55 Ks in less than 13 minutes, which is totally insane. Not to mention that he also ran the Chicago, he also won the Chicago Marathon just uh, recently, so. Pretty impressive, pretty challenging speech. It was really Hello, encouraging to everyone listening. Our lives are changed. Well, yeah. Forever and ever, amen. Okay, we are at the Eldoret Airport and we're just examining who has burned and who has not burned. Lee, are you burned? I'm not burned. Why are you not burned? Because I put on sunscreen every day. Oh, interesting. Rachel, are you burned? 
Maybe just a little bit. Oh my goodness. And I found out I have a farmer's tan, so that's yeah, new. That is awesome. That's fun. It's a good thing it's December and you'll be wearing uh, sweaters, <laughs> at least until you go to LA next. Uh -huh. That's good. Okay, where are we? We're in Nairobi. Nairobi, Kenya. That's right, where are we going next? Where are we flying to next? London. Exactly. Isaac, are we leaving you here? Uh, yes, you are. I wish I could accompany you guys, but uh, next time. Yeah, Isaac's been with us this whole time. He's been um, driving it. Well, they're doing this wrong. Yeah! Isaac's been hosting us the whole time we've been around in Kenya. His last name is Molly. Yes. So you might recognize that from <laughs> the him from MCF. So he's been with us the whole time. He's been awesome. He took the flight back with us. Thank you. You guys Thank have been you. awesome. Best team to ever have. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we'll miss you, Isaac. <laughs> Okay, we have to push all of our luggage to the next <laughs> terminal. And it's a bit of a distance, but we're, we can handle it. We got some carts. Okay, I see a London. This must be it. It's not on the screen right now. Here it is at the top. Boom, London. That's us. So we've been shooting an episode and traveling for 26 hours. We're about to land in London Heathrow. Um, everyone got a pretty good sleep except for Lee. How many hours did you get, Lee? I think two. Uh, Maybe two and a half, three. How about you, Rachel? Maybe like five. Five? Yeah, that's pretty close to me. These guys did pretty well for themselves. They're watching movies. About got about. Let's see. We've got flight time remaining. 35 minutes. I'm not sure if you can see that. Oh, 34. Yay. Well, we're in the Heathrow Airport and we leave in a couple more hours, so I've just been walking around. The uh, shops and the experience here is very, very different than the experience um, in Malawi and Kenya, that's for sure. We're experiencing a bit of culture shock. Um, we're also dirtier than pretty much every person in here. So looking forward to a shower, but also being trying to be a little more mindful about the what money is worth. Okay, we're landing in Toronto. And we're noticing the ground looks a little different. What are you noticing, Lee? What are you noticing? <coughs> There's snow! There's definitely snow. We have not seen any snow since we left here, that's for sure. Wow. Um, looking forward to seeing my driveway when I get home. Take me back to Africa. <laughs> Take me back to Africa, Lee saying. Where's the snow? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're exiting out of customs. Let's see if we know anybody. I see Lee sees somebody she knows. There's her parents right there. Oh, family reunion, we love it. Hi! <laughs> Let's see who our friends. We got Chris up here, we got Rachel up here. Any other reunions about to happen? There's a lot of people in the crowd here. Oh, oh, somebody sees somebody. Chris sees his family. Somewhere. So you excited? I am excited. How are you feeling, Isaac? Were you Straight pumped? Face. Straight face situation. Means he's excited. Oh yeah, he's excited. Lee's family's excited. We know that for sure. They're so glad, especially because she was sick the last couple days to have her back in one piece. Yeah. Yeah, but I think Rachel and Lee are gonna miss each other. The constant roominess. I'll see her on Wednesday. Yeah, that sounds good. All right. Well, thanks for journeying with us and traveling with us on our trip to Africa. It was awesome. <laughs>